All righty, so um, we've sorted out your breakfast already on this Monday morning with that delicious smoothie. Right now, it's time for a bit of a snack, and we have Mary Rolf back in studio. Whenever she's in studio, we can expect nice, interesting, delicious recipes with foods that we would have otherwise thrown away. Gosh, you're so amazing. nice this morning. I'm always Thank nice. You. What yes, are you talking you are, you about? Are, you okay, are. lovely to have you, Mary. Lovely Thank to have you. Thank you. Tomatoes, that's our hero. Yes, our hero today is tomatoes because I said tomatoes. Oh my gosh. You said tomato. Yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> Normally, she would say tomato. I do, yes. Yeah. So, some is coming to an end sad yeah but I can, I can feel it in the mornings I know and the tomatoes are feeling it as well all right and so we're gonna lose those really flavorful tomatoes but I have a solution what's your solution we're gonna do oven roasted tomatoes I like that and you okay. can take a whole big bag of them yeah. and slice them in half and just slow put them on here right yes. on this rack okay and then we're gonna throw these on really quickly. And then we're gonna salt them, go wild, do a little salting. Oh, okay, we're gonna put okay. you to work. 100%. You're not just a pretty How much? boy. <laughs> <up>. <laughs> I'm not, I can do the salt thing, eh? We're gonna salt you up. How much salt do you up. want? Okay, that's good. Okay. And then you put a little bit of olive oil. All right. Just a little. And notice it's on the, on the rack so that there's sort of heat that's gonna go all the way I around. I see. But These you, herbs, are they there just to make it look pretty or? You're catching me, yes. Aha! Uh -huh. uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. So this is thyme, and you wanna put a little bit of thyme on them. And and I also throw in a few little garlic cloves, and the garlic okay. cloves are for afterwards, so okay. they're, they're gonna just go in here. Yes. And you're gonna put this in the oven and bake it yeah. at 120 degrees okay. for about six or seven hours. Wow, so slow and So it's nicely. slow and, and look what happens. And they'll come they out come looking out like, like that. this. Beautiful. And this is intense flavor. Yeah, because all that's and reduced the sugars into it. and everything and it's all the waters evaporate out of the tomato and you get this. And that's you can it. keep this in a jar with some olive oil and the and the garlic cloves yeah. in your fridge for weeks. Okay. And well, it's fantastic. There's a great so, thing. That's what we're gonna do. So off this goes, we're actually right. Let's yes. pop it on this side over here. Yeah. And now we're gonna make crostinis. So once again, you know how I love to yes. use the bread. We like to do bread stuff. So Some everyone pesto. someone always has pesto yeah. around, right? Do you and, and it doesn't have to be the basil one. There are all sorts of different flavored ones Absolutely, now. So, yeah. so it's kind of fun. So you throw that into a little bit of ricotta. Okay. Okay, and if you don't have basil or pesto, you can actually just use basil and chop it up with a little olive oil okay. and throw it in here. And this is a great little snack in the afternoon. I love using that. up the bread, using Even up the- Even a nice little party snack, you know, know. rye maybe or anything uh, like that. You see, there we go. There you go. There we go. Okay, no, so. I can just imagine that because I had like two brides this weekend and this would have oh. been great with either one of them. Did you just eat meat the whole time? I, no, I had salad. I had salad no, as well. No, you did well. not. I did, I promise I had really? salad. There was greens in there. Yep. Wow. Yep, okay, so you see this? Throw that, you're right. going to put a little, I'm going to so teach you, you how to do this. So you can top it for us quickly. Yes. If you want to get your hands on this recipe, SMS the keyword SNACK to 33728. That's SNACK to 33728. And we'll send you everything you need to know to make this beautiful top crostini with uh, this uh, dried out tomatoes and pesto ricotta mixture. It looks amazing. And look, it does look amazing. Does actually. that look good? It looks really and amazing. then, just as a little party snack thing, party thing afterwards, you can put a little bit of basil on it. I'm sorry, <laughs> balsamic. Balsamic. I've got, oh wow, yes. And a little dribble like that, and bingo. Five star stuff right there, Mary. Thank you very You're much. Welcome. Snack. is that to three, three, seven, two, eight. Mary's back with I another am. great tomato recipe in just a bit. <laughs>